gym, great couple of days. Um, we've put in some pretty big hours, um, so it's been a lot of fun. But mate, congratulations on the cattle, they're a fantastic liner. Yeah, thanks Ben, yeah, no, it has been a big couple of days, but it's always enjoyable and uh, it gives a really good opportunity to have a close look at each and every bull the way we do it. And um, it's, I think it's a great, great thing for all of us, and particularly myself, so I can really talk to people on each individual bull if needed, needed to. And tell me, I mean, look, the climate over the last couple of years in Australia has changed a lot. There's been a lot of cattle sold. What's your view in that, in, in regards to genetics? Well, Ben, our breeding program for both breeds is to emphasise even more so on breeding quality bulls. His progeny will have good weight for age, combined with MSA focus on eating quality. In summary, this includes traits for temperament, calving ease, shorter days to calving, or other words, fertility, quick early growth, fat cover, and adequate marbling. Having higher quality genetics has never been more important in my view, you know, as perhaps smaller size herds uh, due to the climatic conditions. So to maximise returns on the cattle we do have, and you know, as I said before, sometimes less is more. Jim, another thing that's changed in the industry is you know animal welfare and I issues around you know uh, work health and safety as well. So what's Ascot doing in relation to that? Well, one thing which is uh, maybe regarded as a very small thing, but one in which I'm very very passionate about, and that is the importance and benefit of polling all cattle. Uh, firstly, I believe in doing this without the need of losing performance in the cattle. So, you know, we do not select just for that trait alone. Uh, secondly, in time, many supermarkets and other buyers may not buy cattle of dehorn due to animal welfare pressure. So we really need to get on the bandwagon now. Thirdly, naturally pole cattle saves the producer time, stress and money with no dehorning. So it's a bit of a no-brainer, really, in my, in my view. Um, as far as Angus goes, all purebred Angus, a homozygous pole, so they have a huge advantage over many breeds to start with. And with our with our Charolais, our homozygous pole breeding and testing program for our Charolais also means nearly every bull we sell now is polled. So in this sale, we have the largest number of homozygous pole bulls that we've put forward so far at uh, 26 uh, homozygous pole bulls, which is, which is over the half the draft of our Charolais bulls. So we're really quite happy with that uh, progress we've made in that polling program. Yeah, massive effort. Jim, a really impressive lineup of Angus this year, so tell us a bit about the sidelines. Yes, Ben, uh, well, just to start off with, we've got uh, just over 60 Angus bulls in the sale, approximately 48 two year old bulls and uh, 12 18 month old yearling bulls. Some of the sidelines include Millamurra Lockup, uh, the bull we bought for 85000 in 2016, who was the top priced uh, Angus bull for the breed that year. Uh, he has 14 sons in this sale, uh, and they all exhibit, exhibit uh, really good weight for age and extra, extra bone. Another one of our main sire lines is Ascot Hallmark. He bred the highest price Angus bull on the breed last year at the Millamurra sale. And he has 10 sons in our sale um, this year. Uh, another bull is Ascot Lionheart. And as I said before, is a bull we sold in 2016. Um, and he's got four sons represented. Other bulls that are also represented are SAV International, uh, Clooney Range Kalua, Texas Global, Coon Amel Hector, K5X Legend, Tamania Emperor, Millamurra Kingdom and Millamurra Clooney. So really Ben, it's a real who's who of, um, of Angus size represented in this sale, I feel, and um, yeah, we're really happy with the majority of the bulls are, that we've been using are, are breeding very well for us. Jim, tell us a bit about the Charolais size. Yes Ben, uh, well, for starters, we've got uh, a total of 50 polled uh, Charolais bulls catalogue, 26 of which are homozygous polled. Um, we have 42 year old bulls and 10 18 month old yearling bulls. Some of the main sire lines represented are Ascot Juggernaut, um, the homozygous pole sire Palgrove Kudos, the homozygous pole Rosedale Lump Sum, top price bull we purchased at Rosedale sale also in 2016. He has eight really top line sons represented. Once again, the Homer's Higgers Pole Paringa Kilo Packer Bull, who was top price of their bull sale in 2016. He has five sons. Uh, the Homer's Higgers Pole Ascot Galaxy, he, he also has five sons represented. Other sires include Ascot Gold Rush, Ascot Kingmaker, Eng Ascot Kingsman, and Ascot El Dorado. As you can see, all of the bulls that we use now are all Homer's Higgers Pole, so we're really pushing that uh, pole side of uh, the genetics in our, in our herd. Jim, tell me a bit about the preparation of the bulls. Well, all of our bulls have been, um, all, all, all the way along, have always been vet tested and semen tested. In the last two years, we've gone one step further and had an independent assessor come in, Jim Green, 
It assesses every ball for temperament and structural correctness, which I think is, is a great benefit for our, our, our buyers out there. Um, and the secondly, the thing we've only just introduced last year and this year is uh, DNA uh, uh, sire verifying of every bull. So you know when you buy a bull off us, it is actually by the sire we say it is, um, which probably the most important reason for that is uh, the EBVs are, are going to be correct, whereas if it happens to be by a different bull, those EBVs could be way, way off, um, way off centre sort of thing. So that's just another couple of things that we do uh, over and above what we've always done. Well Jim, been fantastic as always mate, so best of luck for the sale. Yeah thanks Ben, uh, I'd like to let our clients out there know that uh, we're still offering uh, free delivery to many major centres, uh, which is you know, customers find very helpful. Uh, also Auctions Plus will be operating for long distance buyers, full video and audio stream, so it'll be operating as well. So thanks for your time Ben and um, we really um, we really look forward to, to the sale and I hope your shoulder's feeling a bit better, mate. <laughs> <laughs>